there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona, welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is part 12 of the Energize series of classes and it's a great pick-me-up flow, 35-minute compact class which features accessible and progressive back bends, heart openers, side bends and twists which are always so uplifting. For practice you may wish to have a rolled up blanket or a bolster. And I'm also super excited to announce that I will be launching a special spring equinox at home retreat. So it's a self-guided retreat that you'll be able to access on a website that I've built. And it will also feature delicious Ayurvedic inspired recipes, which I have collated and photographed for you all, as well as uh, spring yoga practices, so energizing morning practices and restful, more restorative evening practices. I'll be launching week commencing the 17th of March and you'll be able to access that from Instagram, YouTube and also my Patreon page and it's available to everyone. I really hope you can join in. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a really nice way to welcome in the spring season and uh, so I really hope you find it worthwhile. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this class. Namaste. And begin your practice kneeling at the back of your mat. Take a seat on your heels, resting your hands into your lap. Or you can take a comfortable alternative, crossing your legs and supporting yourself with a blanket. As you're ready, gently shutting down your eyes and going through your ritual of getting settled and upright in your posture so you feel really open and receptive. And we'll start together breathing together. Take a slow inhale, feel your belly, your ribs, your chest. Gentle pause, top of the inhale, and an open mouth exhale, sigh, let it go. Another one just like that, slow breath in, pause and hold your breath, and rinsing your breath out. Seal your lips now, circle your breath in and out through your nostrils. Establishing your breath now, full and clear, even and steady. Take three more cycles of breath. And as you feel yourself breathe out, chin toward your chest, slide your eyes open, lift your gaze forward into your room. And bring your hands into a knot at the centre of your chest. And we'll begin now to warm, open the upper body, connecting the way your body moves with your breath. You can do this from a seated position as well, no need to shift. Invite your breath in and up toward your thumbs. Exhale, draw your fists forward and round your spine, chin to chest. On your inhale, raise your arms over here, turn your hands inside out, little arch to your spine, and then swim your hands behind your back and interlace the fingers. Staying upright, breathe in, puff your chest. On an exhale, forward fold any amount, shift your arms away from your back. Take a full breath in, and a complete breath out. On your inhale, keep your hands interlaced, rise up. And on your exhale, turn your palms to face the floor. Release your hands now down by your sides, moving into a side bend. Gaze down to your left hand, slide it away, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling. And then hinge over to your left. Ease off as your breath comes in. Dip a little deeper as your breath flows out. Pause here, roll your chin around the front of your chest. Send your gaze up to the right, turn your heart up 
toward the ceiling. Exhale and release. Come upright. We'll take a twist to your right left hand to your right knee and either right fingertips to the floor or behind your back. You inhale, lengthen tall through your spine. Exhale and turn your chest to your right. Breathing in, sit tall. And breathing out to revolve. We'll take a gentle lift now. Take your right fingertips to the floor. Stand into your right hand. Lift and press your hips forward and up. Reach your left arm up and back just for a beat. And then exhale, land. Turn your gaze forward, hands by your sides. Eyes down to the right now. Reach your left arm up toward the ceiling. Slide your right hand away. Side bend to your right. Breathing in, ease off just a little, find more space. Exhale, hinge a little deeper. Holding here, roll just your chin around the front of your chest and the gaze up to your left. And exhale, release, come upright, take your twist to the left. Right hand to your left knee, left fingertips to the floor or behind your back. Inhale, elevate your spine tall. Exhale and twist to your left. Breathing in and breathing out to twist. Gentle lift now. Lift fingertips to the floor behind you. Lift your hips. Reach them forward and up. Right arm up and back. And then land. Eyes forward. Hands by your sides. Moving forward now onto all fours into your tabletop position. Spread the fingers, station your hands underneath the shoulders and just invite yourself to move through a few rounds of cat and cow, arching on your inhale, rounding on your exhale into cat pose, inviting the expansion of the movement to deepen your breath. Each breath in, welcoming a sense of energy, breathing your body awake and open. Every exhale, clearing out, rinsing out any stagnation or congestion. And you can either stay with this linear movement or explore circle, circling or barrel rolling your spine if it feels good for the next few breaths. And just take one more round in each direction. And as you're ready, drift back into a child's pose. Send your buttocks to your heels. On your inhale now, glide up and balance. Reach your right arm forward, your left leg back. On an exhale, curl in one time. Bring your elbow and knee to touch. Breathe in, reach away, and exhale, return to your child's pose. Again, lifting up, left arm forward, right leg back, and balance. Elbow to knee as you exhale. Inhale, reach and extend. Child's pose on your breath out. Adding on. Inhale, rising up to balance, right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, core lunge, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach away and pause. And then find half bow, bend your left knee, reach back, connect your right hand with your left foot or in that direction. As you feel yourself breathe in, reach your heart forward, look up. On your exhale, kick your foot into your hand. Next breath in, release and extend. And exhale, child's pose. Final round, left side, inhale. Gliding up, left arm forward, right leg back. Curl in on your exhale. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale and bind, reach back, hold your right foot. Inhale, curl your heart up. Stay, press your foot into your hand. Inhale, extend and release. And then hand to the floor and slowly press back now to your first downward facing dog. A few breaths here, move freely in your body. Pedal your heels, perhaps sway the hip, shake the head. And then move yourself towards stillness. And keep a little bend in your knees and your hips high away from your ribs. And on your inhale, raise your right leg, down dog splits. On your exhale, right foot to your hands for low lunge. Reach your arms by your ears. And then steady your lower body, fix your gaze. On your inhale, ease back out of your lunge just a little, reach tall. Exhale, pulse your hips forward, firm your left buttocks. Breath to movement, inhale, ease off. Exhale, lunge a little deeper. One more, breathe in. One more, breathe out. On your inhale, ease your hips back now toward a right angle. Right hand to your right hip and take a side bend over to your right. Left arm up and over here. On your inhale, back to centre, reach your arms high. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest. Inhale, lift your arms straight over here. And then fingertips to the floor, transition into the half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Hands under the shoulders, hips back and work towards straightening your right leg. On your inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale and fold over your leg. Take two more cycles of breath. On your inhale, lift your chest. Keep the legs where they are and twist. Place your left fingertips to the floor or left hand to a block. Reach your right arm up toward the sky. Revolve to your right. Breathe and reach up to the edge of your right fingers. Exhale, release. Relunge your right knee and step back. Downward facing dog. On your inhale, ripple forward, high push up, eyes forward, legs engaged. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, gently lift your chest for cobra and pause. You can either stay here or take a light bend in your knees and point your toes toward the ceiling. Take one more breath in. Tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, left leg up and back, down dog splits. Exhale, step your left foot to your hands, low lunge. On your inhale, reach your arms by your ears. Stay for your exhale, scissor your legs toward one another. Pulsing your hips now, inhale, ease back out of your lunge, reach tall. Exhale, hips forward, firm your right buttocks. Breath to movement, inhale. Exhale, lunge a little deeper. One more breath in. Stay for your breath out. On your inhale, ease your hips back now to that 90-90 shape. And left hand to your left hip, side bend over to your left. Right arm reaches up and overhead. Inhale back to centre, reach your arms high. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest. Breathe your arms straight overhead. And then lower your hands to the floor for half splits. 
hips back, straightening into your left leg. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. And then fold over your leg. Two more cycles of breathe. Keep the legs on your inhale, just lift your chest and twist right fingertips to the floor or a block out to the side. Reach your left hand high, twisting to your left. Just here for a beat and release. Relunge your left knee and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower to your belly. And we're going to come into Sphinx Pose now. Just climb onto your forearms. Position your elbows under your shoulders. Lengthen and stretch your legs back. Just pausing here, drawing your ribs forward and then up through your arms. Same time, firming your pubic bone down. Legs engaged. A little air underneath the knees. So you can stay here, option to bend your knees once more, lift the toes. And if you're feeling like you have a little bit more space to grow, you can angle your hands out away from one another on a diagonal and then gently start to lift the elbows. Take one more breath in. Exhale and release down. Press back to child's pose for a few moments. Let your low back settle, widen, and reset. Take an easy breath in, and an easy breath out. Two more here. And then return to your downward facing dog. On your inhale, raise your right leg up and back. Exhale now, step up to a high lunge. Taking up the right and left lanes with your feet, rising up slow, arms overhead or to your waist. Take three steady breaths. Right hand to your left wrist now. Bend both your knees. So left knee and your front knee. Take a side bend over to your right. Just here for a beat. Inhale. Come back to centre. Exhale. Cactus your arms. Press your inner elbows back. Heart high. Swim your hands behind you back now. Interlace your fingers. Take a breath in. Puff your chest. Exhale. Fold halfway forward. So just pause for a full cycle of breath here, legs strong, back thigh engaged. On your inhale, release, rise tall, warrior one, and then open out into warrior two, land your left heel. Stay for a breath in, lunge a little deeper as you breathe out, or keep flowing, inhale, reverse your warrior and then exhale, with all your hands to the floor and step back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Take a back bend of your choice now, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left side now, inhale, raise your left leg. On your exhale, step up to high lunge. No rush. Rising up, arms overhead. Steady your posture. Deepen your breath. Place a bend in both knees. Left hand to your right wrist. Side bend to your left. And on your inhale, back to centre. Cactus your arms, take a mild back bend. And then hands behind your back and lace your fingers. Big breath in, open your chest. 
Exhale, fold halfway forward. Chin lightly tucks in and your fists draw back. Push down through your front foot, return to your high lunge. Open our warrior two on your exhale, right heel to your mat. Stay for your breath in, fill up. Sit a little deeper, breathing out. Keep the legs, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat and step back, downward facing dog. So feel free to pause here or take a flow. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale lower. Inhale back bend of your choice. And downward facing dog. Three steady breaths. Allow yourself to settle for a moment. And we'll add on, inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, step, high lunge. As you rise now, straighten your legs. And on your exhale, bend both knees and twist open to your right. Tee out your arms. On an inhale, return, high lunge. And then take your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Again, inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, open your chest. And then exhale, hinge forward. And from here we'll move into a swan balance. So keep a little bend in your right knee. Raise and float the left leg. Similar to warrior three, but here finding the qualities of a small back bend. So your chest lifts. Eyes forward, point and raise your left toes. Slowly releasing into a runner's lunge. Hands to your mat, take a soft step back with your left foot. And then settle your left knee to the floor. Make your way into lizard pose. Toe heel your right foot over into the right lane. Hands to the inside of your right foot. So you can pause here. You might like to take a few stationary breaths here on your hands or your forearms. Or you can open your lunge, peeling your right foot open, resting on the outer edge of your right foot. Right hand can come to your inner thigh. You add a little mild twist. Final option, bending your left knee, reach back, connect your right hand with your left foot for a quad stretch, mild back bend, and a little twist. Just wherever you're at, take three more cycles of breath. Gently release, reframe your right foot, and step back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower to your belly, no rush. Stay on your belly and we'll move into skydiver pose. We're going to cactus the arms, place a bend in your knees. And then on your inhale, lifting your inner elbows, your thighs, and just stay for a few breaths. Invite your breath to move through your shape. Gently release, melt to the floor, slow and unhurried now. Press back to a child's pose, buttocks to your heels. Take a full cycle of breath in. Soften and release through your low back as you breathe out. Returning to your downward facing dog for our final side. Breathing in, raise your left leg. Breathing out, step up, high lunge. As you rise, come up slow, two straight legs. Exhale, bend both knees and twist open to your left, arms wide. Next inhale, return, high lunge. 
and then hands behind your back interweave your fingers inhale open your chest exhale balance into swan pose so tipping forward raise your right leg maintain a mindful attention to the flow of your breath direct your gaze to a steady point of focus Release your hands, take a slow step back to runner's lunge, fingertips to the floor, then soften your right knee, down for lizard lunge, shift your left foot over into the left lane, hands in to the right lane, <laughs> pausing here, there's only two options, I wonder how I get it wrong. <laughs> The option here is to peel the left foot open, your knee open, or perhaps taking the quad stretch, bending your right knee and reaching back to hold. Let's take about three to five steady cycles of breath. And then reframe your left foot, release if you had that bind, and step quietly back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward, plank pose, lower to your belly for our final black back bend, transitioning into bow pose. So you can modify with any of the previous prone back bends if you need a gentler variation. If you're taking bow, bending your knees, flexing your feet, reach back with your hands and hold your ankles. Flexing the feet, inhale, lifting up and just pausing for a few breaths. Kicking your feet into your hands to open your chest. And then slowly release, soften to the floor, slow and unhurried, press back to child's pose, buttocks to your heels, and your knees can go wide here if that's comfortable, so your chest can rest between your thighs. And returning now to downward facing dog. From here we'll transition into pigeon pose. Raise the right leg up and back. As you exhale, take your right knee to the back of your right hand. Popping up onto the fingertips, start to nudge your left leg back. And lower your right buttocks toward the floor. Or if you have a lot of air underneath your buttocks, just shift a blanket under there so you can feel the ground coming up to meet you. You can stay elevated on your hands or walk yourself forward. Taking three to five slow, calm breaths. And then from here, walk your hands back in and we'll transition into resting half frog pose. Might like a blanket off the right side of your mat. Just press down into your hands to lift your torso. Pick up your right knee and take your right knee out to the right. Placing your right knee in line with your hip so your inner thigh points down toward the floor. 90 degrees the angle of your knee and your foot. And then you can come onto your forearms or walking your hands forward once more, allowing your chest, your belly and inner thigh to settle and soften toward the mat. And 
And then walk your hands back in. From here we'll transition into a reclined twist on our back. Just tend to your right fingers. Go ahead, thread your left arm under your right. And then keep going, rolling onto your back for a supine twist. Arms out wide to a T. Three steady breaths. Unwind from your twist nice and slow, rolling back, reversing onto your belly. Then take your hands by your low ribs and press back to child's pose. Just to transition. And then downward facing dog. Left side now, raise your left leg. And then left knee to the back of your left hand. Extend your right leg out long, single pigeon. Lower and relax your weight into your left outer hip. Prop yourself if that feels best. Mindfully following your breath. And then walking your hands back in toward you. Standing into your hands so you're able to lift and reposition your left knee out to the left. Resting half frog. Flexing your toes. And just softly lowering back down to the floor. Softening through your inner left groin. Feeling the movement your breath creates as it presses into the mat. And then walk your hands back in towards you. Tend your left fingers so you make a little bit of space. And then thread your right arm under your left. Roll onto your back for a recline twist. Three breaths. And then reverse your way back onto your belly. Press back to a child's pose. And then walk your hands in toward you. Coming upright, bring your legs around in front of you. So we're going to move into our final posture for practice, a restorative fish pose, Matsyasana. So here, if you have it, a rolled up blanket or a bolster, perhaps some cushions there, and just positioning your support lengthways along the mat behind you. So you're going to shuffle your buttocks close to your support, facing away from it. And then legs come into butterfly, badokonasana, knees wide, soles of the feet together. So this is actually going to be our shavasana. If you'd rather take a traditional shavasana laying down on your back, you can take that shape now. Just rest your arms by your sides. And gently, gently close your eyes. And relaxing, resting your energy now in this open and receptive shape. Just feeling the front of your shoulders gently relaxing back. The back of your arms releasing down toward the floor. Melting, softening the muscles of your inner thighs. And then relaxing, letting go of any gripping in your buttocks. And feel the whole weight of your body supported. 
and resting now. I'll be back to guide you back in a few minutes. Gently now guiding your awareness back. And as you're ready, take your hands to your outer legs, ease your knees in toward one another, feet to the floor. And then taking care now to make your way out to your right side, rolling off your support. And easing your way back up to sit. Thank you so much for joining me for this compact energizer flow. I hope you're now feeling more awake and alert. Ready for the rest of your day. Namaste.